Welcome to the chapter Knowing Our Numbers. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Understand comparison between numbers Estimate rounding off numbers Identify the place value of numbers Expand the numbers Illustrate usage of commas Differentiate Indian an international system of numeration. Understand the large numbers used in our daily life. Describe the units of lengths, weights and liquids, etc. Introduction Before entering into the chapter, follow the instructions shown on the screen. Click each tab to know more. In lower classes, we studied about numbers and operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Do you know how to find the place value of digits? In this section, let us know how to identify the place value of digits and comparison between the numbers. Let us know how to estimate and compare numbers. As we already know that the number 9 is greater than 8. Now, let us find the comparison between two numbers in case of higher numbers. For example, let us consider two numbers 65895 and 64982. To compare these two numbers, first check the digits which are in ten thousands place, that is 6. Here, they are same in both the cases. So go for next value which is in thousands place and now again by comparing these two digits, we observe that the number 5 is greater than 4. So, we conclude that the number 65895 is greater than 64982 number. Estimation and rounding off numbers In our daily life, we come across many situations such as 500 students nearly assembled in a school prayer. 15,000 people approximately visit Ramoji Film City daily. 10,000 tons weight roughly lifted by a heavy crane. The words nearly, approximately, roughly are used to show that something is almost near the number but not completely. In fact, 15,000 may be 14,957 or 15,154. That is it may be little less or more, but not exactly the stated number. Estimation is also a good way of checking answers. We usually round off the numbers to the nearest tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on, etc. Look at the example which is shown on the screen rounding off the numbers to the nearest tens. 51 is near to 50 than 60. So 51 is rounded off to 50. 56 is nearer to 60 than 50. So it is rounded off to 60. Let us revise the concept how to expand a number using place value. For example, look at the number 85. Here, 5 is in 1's place and 8 is in 10's place. Such that, by multiplying the digits, 
with their respective place values, we can expand the number. Now, look at the number which is a three digit. Here, we have nine in hundreds place and just multiply it with hundred. Same will be applied for 1000 digit number, 10,000 digit number and so on. Introduction to large numbers The greatest 5 digit number, what we all know is 99,999. Now, just add the number 1 to it. Then we will obtain the least 6 digit number that is 1 lakh. Let's take the number 456789. Its expanded form is as shown. We will read it as 4,56,789. Now, let's listen to the conversation between two friends. Hi, Vinay. Hi, Vandana. Do you know what is the least seven-digit number? Yes. It is one zero 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 zero. Do you know what is the highest seven digit number? Yes, it is nine 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 nine. What will happen if we add one to that number? If we add one, it will become one crore, which is the smallest eight digit number. Place value of larger numbers. Let us now see the places of larger values. Here is the number 54987944. Let's see how it is placed with their place values. Here, 5 is in crore's place, 4 is in 10 lakhs place, 9 is in lakhs place, 8 is in 10,000's place, 7 is in 1,000's place, 9 is in 100's place, 4 is in 10's place, and 4 is in 1's place. Now, it can be read as 5 crores 49 lakhs 87,944. The following table shows the numbers up to lakhs and crores. From the above table, we observe that 1 crore is equal to 100 lakhs, which is in turn equal to 10,000 thousands. 1 lakh is equal to 100 thousands, which is equal to 1,000 hundreds. Let us do a lab activity to know the numbers and their place values. Click each tab to know more. The objective of this activity is to know the numbers and their place values. The materials required for this activity are a paper strip, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. Let us consider the number 4, 5, 3, 2, 8, 1 to know the place values. Take a paper and cut it to make a strip and fold it as shown in the image. Mark the assumed number as shown in the image. Now, write zeros and plus on the hidden sides of the strip, which represent the place values. Fold the strip as shown in the image. To read the number written on the strip, expand the strip. We have observed that the given number is 
We need to know the zeros of the place values first to know the numbers. Only then we can easily find what is the number and its place value. In this section, we are going to learn about using of commas in appropriate places in large numbers. We have often used commas while writing numbers. Commas help us in reading and writing large numbers. In our Indian system of numeration, we use ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and then lakhs, crores, and so on. Let's see. The conversation between teacher and student on uses of comma. What is a comma? Comma is a punctuation mark indicating a pause between parts of a sentence or separating items in a list. How to use it? Let us go into details of using commas in numbers. See the number shown on the screen. Here, the first comma should come after hundreds place, that is, three digits from the right and marks thousands. The second comma comes two digits later, that is, five digits from the right. It comes after ten thousands place and marks lakh. The third comma should come after ten lakhs place and marks crore. Varun Read out these numbers using commas. 5 crore 78 lakh 97,451 89 crore 24 lakh 56,321 78 crore 65 lakh 46,632 Very good. Let us perform an activity to context the number names to figures and place commas in proper positions. The cost of each item is displayed on the screen. Convert the number names into numericals and place commas in proper places. Then sum up. Till now we have learnt about Indian system of numeration. Now we are going to discuss about international system of numeration. What's the price of a car? One lakh. I didn't get you. What is one lakh? Up to 10,000, the number system is same in all countries. But in India, 100,000 is called a lakh. Thank you. Could you please tell me some more numbers? Yes, of course. 10 lakhs is 1 million. Crore is 10 million. 100 crore is 1 billion. The following table show the place values of Indian and international number systems. Now, let us see the international system of numeration of using commas. In international system of numeration, we use ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and then after millions, billions, trillions, and so on. Here, comma comes after every three digits from the right. Let's see an example by using the international system of numeration. Suppose the number is 53635798. In Indian system of numeration, it can be read as 5 crore 36 lakh 35,000 798. In international system of numeration, it can be read as 53,635,798. Let us now learn about large numbers used in our daily life situations to measure lengths. As we know that meter, which is denoted by M, is a unit of length. If we want to measure 
the distance of the school from your home, we use kilometers km. If we want to measure the length of a pencil, we use centimeters. But if we want to measure the thickness of a cardboard, we use millimeters. For example, 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter. 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. 1000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. By this, we can convert and use as per our requirement. Large numbers used in our daily life situations to measure weights. In the same way, we buy rice or wheat in kilograms. But if we want to buy small quantities, we use measurements like milligrams, grams. Let us see the relation between them. 1000 milligrams is equal to 1 gram. 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. Large numbers used in daily life situations to measure liquids. For measuring liquids, we use measurements like liters, milliliters, and kiloliters. Let's see the relation between them. 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. 1000 liters is equal to 1 kiloliter. Follow-up work Know the population of various countries and try to put commas in Indian system of numeration. Know the highest and smallest of 10-digit, 11-digit and 12-digit numbers. You have successfully completed the chapter Knowing Our Numbers.